Hi everyone, I love to start every day with a song, so sing it with me. Cause the minimum number is four. Now if you haven't got four hugs today, then you better get some more. Here we go. Four hugs a day, that's the minimum. Four hugs a day, not the maximum. Four hugs a day, that's the minimum. Four hugs a day, not the maximum. Sing it with me, say. Four hugs a day, that's the minimum. Four hugs a day, not the maximum. Four hugs a day, that's the minimum. Four hugs a day. Back to singing. Don't forget your mom and papa, your grandma, and your grandpa, and all your friends too. Brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, and don't forget your teachers too. We need one, two, three, and four. We need one, two, three, and four. We need four hugs a day. That's the minimum for hugs. Left us another message? What does it say? Oh, you want me to go find it. Is it in the same spot that you put it yesterday? Oh, he said it sure is. Let me find it. Ooh, oh, here it is. Let's see what's in this box. All right. Oh my goodness, he left another 3D shape. Do you wanna know what this one is called? Today, I'm just gonna tell you. This is called a rectangular prism. What a long word. Can you say that with me? Good job, rectangular prism. You'll see on its flat sides, it has a rectangle, which has two long sides and two short sides. And then on the other flat side, it has a square. It's called a rectangular prism. Oh my goodness, because of my friend Tom, I'm never gonna forget my 3D shapes. He's always making sure I'm practicing. Let's see what his note says today. I'm gonna bring it up close so that you can see. First, I need to unravel it. I wonder when he wrote this and how I didn't catch him. It says, I'm gonna get my finger out so I can track the words as I read them. He says, dear friends, have you ever had a bad day? From Tom. Hmm, have you ever had a bad day? I'm trying to think. You know, I have had a bad day before. And I do have this story about some superheroes that had a bad day. We should read that later. Ah, good idea. And then we can talk more about it then. I love when Tom leaves me message. Ooh, you hear that? Who could be calling me at this hour? Hello? Oh, hi, I'm so happy to hear from you. Oh, you're right. Yes, I know it's so fun. And yes, I so agree, it's so important. Correct, it is fun and important. I'll make sure I do that with my friends right now. Thank you for the reminder. Love you too. My friends are always calling me to remind me, Miss Kissinger, it's time for the alphabet. It's fun and important. Are you ready to do it with me? Let's do it. A, A, apple. B, B, bat. C, K, camel. D, d, dolphin. E, e, egg. F, f, fire. G, g, guitar. I love that one, I feel like I'm rocking out. H, hippo. I, i, insect. J, j, jump rope. K, k, 
koala. L, u, lemon. M, m, map. N, n, nest. O, o, octopus. P, p, piano. Q, qu queen. Great job. R, r, rose. S, Sun. T, t, turtle. U, a, uh, umbrella. V, v, volcano. W, w, window. X, x, box. Y, y, yo, yo. Z, z, zipper. Oh my goodness, we are just doing such a fabulous job. You are awesome. You know, we've been kind of sitting for a while, so I think now is the perfect time for some exercise. So for today, I want you to make sure you have a little bit of space by you. If there's more than one of you in your house, I want you to make a big circle with your arms. Now that's your area and that's their area. You stay in your own safe spot. And this song is super fun because it's gonna tell us a bunch of different things to do. And we're just gonna copy exactly what they say. So here we go. Walk. It's one of my favorite songs. So right now we're just gonna kind of bounce. Just kind of bounce to the beat. I'm just gonna kind of like go in a circle in my house. Just kind of bounce. I like the way it sounds like boing, boing. It's like, oh, like I'm jumping in a cartoon. Oh, stop. Gallop. Gallop. Okay, so you know when you like sit on a horse and you're galloping? I want you to go all around your room. Gallop side to side. You can even switch your hands. Nice job. Woo, hold on tight. Gallop your legs. Woohoo! So fun. Oh, freeze. Tiptoe. Tiptoe. Okay, get on your tippy toes. Get be as quiet as you can. Shh. Go all the way around. All the way around your house. All the way. Shh. Don't see me. I'm going this way. Go this way. Run! Run! Okay, run. We're gonna run in place first. Run! Run your legs as fast as you can! Oh! Faster, faster! Okay, now run to this side! Okay, now run to that side! Woo! Go so fast! Now run forward, forward! Woo! Now run back! Run, run, run! Skate! Oh, skate! I my skates on! Ooh, are you ice skating or roller skating? I'm gonna pretend like I'm ice skating. Oh, so beautiful. Skating side to side. Do a big step to the side. Big step to the other side. Oh, you're such a good skater. Oh, freeze. Hop. 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 Look, I'm hopping so high you can't even see me. Look, I disappear every time. Now hop to that side. Now hop to this side. Bounce. Now this side! So much hopping! Ooh, I'm getting out of breath! So fun! Hop, hop! What's next? Now, let's see if you can remember what the sounds tell you to do. Ooh, tricky! Okay, so this one was just kind of like, remember we were listening? Remember I said it sounded like you're in a cartoon? Okay, but I might need your help, because I might forget. Do you remember? Oh, gallop? You're right. Oh, hurry, gallop. Like you're on a horse. Gallop all around. Oh, good thing you reminded me. Oh, and I forgot. Did. Gallop.
run! Run in place! Run as fast as you can! Run, 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 run! Now run to that side! Whoop! Run! Now run to this side! Run, run, run! Fast, fast, fast! Fast legs! You can do it! And, but you want to know what happens? I don't know if this happens to you. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I get so excited and I want to keep having more fun and dancing, but sometimes you have to stop. It's always hard for me to remember, how can I get my body to just relax and kind of restart? And I finally figured it out. Just kind of stop and breathe. So try it with me. I like to put on ocean sounds and it just kind of calms me down. So I'm just like, Close my eyes for a second and I listen to them. You see them? You hear the waves? All right, so put your hands together and let's take a big deep breath in. And then let it out. And then another big breath in, in. And then out. And then, so it's too loud for me. I'm gonna do a quiet count of five. Ready, set, go. That kind of forces me to kind of stop, and I know that it's gonna end at five. Let's try to do it to 10. Are you ready? Quiet count to 10. Ready, set, go. Awesome job. Okay, take this hand, put it out, go top. the way up to your shoulder. Oh, nice job. Kind of calm your body down. We start your brain. Duh, 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 duh. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. All the way up to your shoulder. Good job. Let's take one more deep breath in. Deep, deep, deep. Fill up your belly all the way deep. And let it out. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna move on now that we've gotten some wiggles out and taken some time to restart our brain. I have some more high frequency words to show you. But before I get them, I'm gonna put on the Count to 100 song and you need to go get a piece of paper, something hard to write on, and a red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple crayon and something to write with and come back. But you have to be back with all your things by the time I get to 100. And if you're here earlier, you can just sit and sing with me. All right, ready? You can count with me and get your things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Something to write with. Something hard to write on. 15, 16, piece of paper and your crayons. 20, 21, 22, 23, 20. I have a few more things to get to. 6, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Tom's gonna help us go. 31, 32, 33, 34. 40, you're right. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. You're good at counting. You just have to keep practicing. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. 61, 62, don't forget your crayon. 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. Oh, we're almost there. I hope you've got all the things you need. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80. Good job. 81, 82. 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 
that. Okay, hopefully now you've got all your things organized and right in front of you. 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. We made it. Okay, I have some new words for us today, which is so exciting. Are you ready to hear what they are? The first one is she. S-H-E. The next word is is. I-S. Is. The next one is with. Say it with me. With. It's spelled W-I-T-H. With. And the last one is he. He is spelled H-E. Those are our four new words. Okay, now let's get to rainbow writing. I'm gonna do one word with you, then I want you to click the pause button and write the rest of the words, and then you can press play and watch the rest of the video. Sound good? Sounds good to me. All right, the first one, I'm gonna write it with black pen, but I want you to try it with pencil if you have that at home. We're gonna do she. All right, so first write it with a pencil. It is, oh my goodness, remember, I'm writing upside down. But remember to always write your letters from the top. So I'm gonna start with an S, goes around and around. Okay, did that upside down, is that right? Yes, woohoo! Okay, then an H, H, down, up, and around. And then we're gonna go back to that E. Remember I said it's kind of like you're hitting a baseball. You hit the ball. Go run around the bases. So you write it and read it. So that's the word she. Then you're gonna start with a red crayon. And it goes like this. S, H, E. And that word is she. What comes next? Red, orange. So then we'll go back and we go S, I always like the way it turns out after. S H E. And then don't forget, you have to read the word. What is it? She. Red, orange, yellow. S H. You see how I'm spelling it every time? S H E. That spells she. What comes next? Red, orange, yellow, green. So then we go S H E spells she. Orange, yellow, green, blue. S H E. Remember, you can always take your time too. I'm kind of going fast, but you can take your time. Green, blue, and then we need a purple. Last one, purple, here we go. S, H, and there you have it. The word she in rainbow writing. So now's when I want you to press pause. And when you're done, it should look like this. She is with and he. Remember, you can always take one of those and write your own sentence or just practice reading them, but awesome job. Okay, before we move on to our story, which I'm so excited to read, it's one of my favorites, I wanted to go back to this message that Tom wrote us about if you've ever had a bad day. You know, sometimes you have bad days where you might feel angry or if you might feel sad. You know, what do you do when you have a bad day? It's important to have a plan, like maybe someone you can talk to or maybe an area in your house that you can go to that helps you feel really calm. But before I read this story that will kind of help us think of those ideas, I thought it would be perfect if I put on my own superhero outfit. <gasps> what do you think? Do I look cool? Well, I certainly feel cool. Okay, today's story is called, Even Superheroes Have Bad Days. Excuse me, I need to get my cape ready for this one. It's by Shelley Becker and it's illustrated by Ida Caban. When superheroes don't get their way, when they're sad, when they're mad, when they have a bad day, oh, look, he has a red cape, just like They could use superpowers to kick, punch, and pound. They could shriek, they could screech with an ear-piercing sound. Oh, does that sound like a good idea? No, if you look at the animals, they're all scared of the superheroes. They look so angry. 
They could crush wooden crates and bend metal gates. They could throw trucks and buses across several states. Oh my goodness, they're so angry. They're doing all these terrible things that are unsafe. They could knock over buildings like towers of blocks and crumble the streets into rumble and rocks. They could use laser eyes to ignite forest fires or fling boomerangs to deflate the town's tires. You know, everybody in the town's like, oh no. But upset superheroes have all sorts of choices. Instead of destruction and loud, livid voices, they burn angry steam off with speed of light hiking or super extreme outer space mountain biking. Oh, so when they're feeling angry, they could go for a hike or go outside ride their bike. That's a great idea. They race to the rescue of people in need and delight in the joy of a super good deed. They hatch super plans to help banish world sadness, building fabulous theme parks for giggles and gladness. Oh, I love that. That's kind of like filling someone's bucket is what they're doing so that they don't feel so angry. Great ideas. They chase wanted bad guys with supercharged sing, dragging hundreds to jail while police dance and sing. They track down and tame super menacing beasts and transform pity parties to victory feasts. But displeased superheroes who don't feel serene could have super temptation to cause a bad scene. Oh look, like he's crossing the sidewalk, he's yelling, he's so mad at all those people. You know, when you're angry, it might feel good to yell, but should you do that? They could blast icy blizzards on hot afternoons or walloping twisters and monster typhoons. Oh no, everybody looks so scared for how she's acting. They could spin super web, super far, super sticky, and tangle up towns with their silk super icky. They could rotate the planet and mess up world time, or sit back and relax while the world fills with crime. Oh no, that would be good. Not at all. When superheroes don't get their way, when they're sad, when they're mad, when they've had a bad day, they could super rampage. They could, but they don't because real superheroes just wouldn't, they won't. Wow, I wanna be just like them. Instead, they dig down to their super best part, the strong superpowers contained in their heart and using their talents as true heroes should, they battle the urge to do harm, though they could. They acknowledge their sorrow, their anger, their pain, as they wait for their super emotions to wane. Hey, look, those superheroes are doing just what we do. We take a second to be calm and breathe and relax. <gasps> That's what we need to tell Tom to do when he has a bad day. It's okay if they frown. It's okay if they sigh. It's even okay if they slump down and cry. But then they get up and they get on with their day. See, they have feelings just like we do saving the world in the most super way. I love that story. You know what my favorite part is? This part. When it says, you know, they could be angry, they could be yell yelling, they could do all those things you wanna do when you're angry or sad, but they, you know, it says they dig deep into their heart, into a place that feels good and get themselves back to a good place so that then they can be back to happy. I love that story. Superheroes are awesome. So today I thought that we could, for our art project, is we could draw our own superhero that looks just like you. So since we already have our materials out, I'm gonna get mine and we'll get started. All right. Okay, I'm gonna use a marker, but you can use a pencil, whatever you feel like. Actually, can you see me when I sit like this? I think you can. I just feel so cool in my superhero headband, I want you to see it. Okay, so I'm gonna make mine look like me, but I want you to try to make yours look like you. So, okay, so we're gonna start with the head. So draw a head. Ta-da, there's your head. Then draw your neck. 
Okay, now the arms are the hard part for me, that is. So I'm gonna try to go slow. So, and I want it to look like our hands are on our hips. So if you can see like my arm is like curved and then it goes down. So that's what we're gonna try to make it look like. We're just gonna try our best. Okay, so it needs to come, make your shoulders come out like this. So two lines out. Okay, you like big strong shoulders. And then curve, just do a little curve. And then make it come down just a little like this. And then stop it right there. Okay. And then we're just gonna go like in kind of right here. And just that's where like the shirt is gonna be. Your superhero shirt. Okay. Then you're gonna go here now. And it's gonna go in like this. Okay, and then go on this side to the armpit. Yeah, now we're talking. Wow, it looks like we have really strong arms. Perfect. And then bring it down even more. And then give yourself some fingers and like kind of like your hands are on your hips. Strong superhero stance. Bam, we did it. Then, if you just go like this to make some pants, go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And then just draw a straight line down, look like pants. Tricks. Okay, now let's do our, late, our shoes, superhero shoes. Whatever you want them to look like. Oh boy, made a mistake, but that's okay. All right, so that's just kind of like the body. Now we're gonna get into the details. So remember, Yours can look just like mine, or it can look just like you, all right? So think about what kind of hair you have, all right? So I have like long, long hair, so I'm gonna draw long hair. But if you have short hair, this would be the time to draw short hair. I'm just gonna draw like long hair. Let's see, how can I do this so everybody can see? It feels so different to do it upside down. So there's my hair, my superhero hair. Remember I said I wanted to do details. So, oh gosh, I was so close, sorry. And then I have some bangs. Okay, so hair, however your hair looks, is done. And remember you can always pause this. All right, and then give yourself two eyes, two eyes. What else do I have on my face? Oh, nose. Draw a nose and then whoo, mouth. I'm just gonna go like this because I am a happy superhero. Okay, and then let's see, we're gonna do a design on the shirt. So start here and go down. Now go back to the top, go down. Okay, and then I'm gonna do another one and another one. And I'm gonna write the letter K for kiss and jerk. That's what my superhero is going to look like. And then let's see, now you can add in your own details. Think about things that you like, or if you had your own. Oh, what? I just forgot. We forgot to make a cape. Every superhero has a cape. Okay, we'll go back to what I was saying. Go start at like where your elbows are here and bring it down. Okay, now go to the other side, bring it down. Oh gosh, even longer. And then mine's gonna be kind of flowy, like it's in the wind. Aha, there we go. Now we look like a superhero. Okay, now let's do what I was saying before and you can add things that you like. Like maybe you like hearts or stars or I like polka dots. I'm gonna have a polka dot superhero shirt. Okay, and then maybe you want like stripes on your cape. You have stripes on your cape, right? Superheroes make good choices, just like the ones in our stories. They made good choices and they were angry to be calm, just like you, see? You can give yourself a headband. Anyways, you can pause this, but when you're done, you could make it look something like this. See, I took my time and I colored in some details. 
and I'm gonna hang this somewhere. So then when I see it, it's gonna remind me of that story and my friends that we were talking about today and things you can do when you feel angry or sad. This will remind me that I can just be calm, just like those superheroes in the book. Sound good? I can't wait to see your pictures. What a fun day we had, and I will see you next time. Miss Kissinger's Corner. Mm -hmm.